1700 miles. We have only have 59 to go and this is the longest. This boat was registered under a Spanish flag. It started as a French vessel, hence the French flag at first. But then I found the proper flag, which also acted as a wind instrument. Well, it's day 14 now. We've been out here two weeks. As you can see by the growth on my face and the length of my fingernails, everything just grows here. <laughs> Yesterday was an uh, exciting day with the squall that just blew us around and broke the uh, spinnaker pole. And uh, then we just had dead calm for a long time. It really sucked. And tried to start up the engine, but it wouldn't do it. So we relied on the wind. And at times we were doing only two knots. It was just, yeah. anyways, just chilled and figured this is maybe the next to the last day. Today everything seems fantastic, great. Got a little more wind. We're doing about four knots. Still slow. Maybe tomorrow in the day we will get to uh, Cayenne. And shout out, she did, she keeps there. Oh, last night I was up and about four o'clock in the morning I saw some dolphins. And it was a tiny little cute yellow and green bird that came and visited us, was inside for a while. I think he signified good luck. You know, green is hope. So, and then the dolphins last night definitely are a sign of good fortune. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, the sea. Thank you, the gods. Whether Poseidon or Neptune. Gods of the sky, gods of the wind, gods of the water. The entire planet god, thank you. The engine was acting up. It would run but stall after an hour or so. I wanted to save its propulsion when coming into land, so I relied on the wind, which came in spurts when skulls would pass by. Good morning. It's the 15th day. It should be the last day. It may not be. Uh, we could have gotten here yesterday, but we've got no proper functioning propulsion. Kind of sucks. In fact, it really sucks. Here we're stuck in a dilemma. We've got a current that's coming from the southeast but it's pushing us in the wrong direction and yesterday at one point we were just cruising along it was great settling in for the night the wind just dropped and we we're looking at the um chart plotter and the speed and we we're doing like three knots but we're not moving the sails are absolutely dead it was just nothing but we're still moving we're moving northwest current finally a little bit of wind has picked up and uh we're just getting over the edge of the continental shelf here, and I guess there's some current here or something, but it's been keep going on. We were actually doing one knot while well, the boat's actually doing three knots. We've got some wind and we're practically standing still. This is just super frustrating. It reminds me of that movie Papillon, if you guys are familiar with that. Papillon with uh, Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen. Two prisoners are locked up in French Guiana. I don't know if you remember the movie. I do. It was a great inspiration for me. I just always want to travel and see things and be a tough guy like Steve McQueen. I don't know if I'll get a butterfly tattoo on my chest, but if I make it, maybe I will. <laughs> it's because uh, at the end of the movie there, he figured out something that he made a bag of coconuts and uh, threw it off a cliff and he watched the currents take it out to the open sea. And this is the problem. We're in the current that's taking Papillon out to the open sea, and we're going against that goddamn current. Oh, Jesus Christus, man. <laughs> well, we have a ray of hope this morning. Dolphins. Dolphins usually bring me good fortune, at least I like to think so. And uh, they're going against current like us, and they came by just to swim a little bit, so it gives me a little glimmer of hope. Hopefully the wind will pick up and uh, we can move and go a little faster than one knot, sometimes less than one knot. Oh goodness. 
the life of a full-time sailor. <sighs> oh well, still get some coffee. <laughs> and uh, we'll make it, I promise you. This is so frustrating. We're in a pretty much a dead calm in between storms and uh, try to run the engine again and uh, it runs for a while then it starts to slow down and uh, we think it's the propeller or the shaft, colors bearing. Then I even checked the injectors and bled them all making sure because it was kind of stalling and that wasn't it. So. Hopefully we can run just enough engine to get into wherever we're getting to when we get there. Uh, but we'll worry about that then. Right now we're just <sighs> super slow boat to Guiana, man. Super slow boat. <laughs> oh my God. A three and a half knot current was pushing us northwest when we wanted to go south. The boat and I were moving sideways like a crab. We've done. 1700 miles we have only had 59 to go and this is the longest if there was no more wind we'd end up in the southern caribbean i could not steer the boat as you can see here but then a squall would pass by and i could get back on track like it's the final morning of our journey. We're coming into the port of Cayenne. Just got blown around by a little squall. It's all right, gives a little speed. And it looks like a beautiful morning here. Let's see what uh, this port waits for us. There's a bunch of tides here and stuff, so I waited out here for a few hours until the day came up and the tides start rising because there's some it could be tricky, we'll see. And I have no depth sounder, so that kind of sucks. It would not be the final day. During the night, I furled up the Genoa and just drifted to wait for daylight and high tide and get a bit of sleep. I managed between motor and sailing to get near shore. There are five meter tides here, lots of mud and wrecks and charts are confusing. Okay, here we are in Cayenne, France. Tricky entrance here in this big giant bay with these buoys and stuff. Charts are not really up to date, even on Navionics. We went through a whole part that was like green, like there's no depth. But we came here at high tide. I made sure of that. That's right, man. My tide studies did come into play for once. No, not really. They had tide indication and tide charts on the uh, Navionics apps, which was cool. So here we are just drifting the last few minutes so we can drop anchor in front of this little marina and hopefully they'll get this boat fixed and I can get myself back home to my boat. And perhaps in a few minutes or a little later we can have a cafe croissant, a steak frite. <laughs> I shaved this damn beard off and cut my nails. They're all like long, look at that. Stuff just grows like crazy out at sea. My mission was successful, but my adventure was not over. Where I had docked the boat was far, far, far from the city of Cayenne. I had no choice but to hitchhike a ride. There were no taxis, and it was a national holiday, Slavery Abolition Day. Everything was closed, even barbers. These are the kind of storms we were having on this crossing about the last four or five days of the journey. About a third of it just was like constant rainstorms, but it was cool. Although one of them kicked our ass and laid the boat down and broke the spinnaker pole, but 
almost broke the, almost tore off the spinnaker, but I was able to uh, free it and steady the boat. Well, not really. Once it was raging, it just was raging, and then it just stopped. Tormenta, as you see here, the storm passed, and, and everything calmed down. Crazy, man. So different from Cape Verde. Thanks for coming aboard Gatapine Winded Voyage. This is our studios. You know, it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community there. Uh, we've got a lot of cool extra perks this year, like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus, our friend and patron Graham started a WhatsApp chat that he aptly called Gallopin's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and we can talk, chat, uncensored, say whatever we want, and discuss anything. And it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this Living Adventure series. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, just make sure to give us a like, or dislike, or leave a comment, and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along on Winded Voyage, man.